those of you who have Chromebooks or device, please go to a new Google page. And we're going to go to our waffle. And then we're going to scroll down, and we're going to open up a Google form. So just by a show of hands, how many of you guys use Google Forms in your classroom? OK, great. Um, and I know Ms. Crute in the library. She's helped me a lot with this. And she used it for the locked question, the day we had the literacy day, and all that stuff. So we're going to do a quick little class on how to create a quiz and the benefits of creating a quiz. So you can do the blank quiz, but today we're not going to do that. We're just going to go to a blank one so I can show you how to make it a quiz if you needed to. So it's untitled. And I would go ahead and name it. So if you're a math teacher, whatever, whatever class you want to make the quiz for, so we could do ELA block one, or whatever you want to name it. And so that's our titling. We can go to settings. And we're going to hit collect email addresses right there. You can hit limit to one response. And then we're going to go over to the quizzes and we're going to click Make a Quiz. Is everybody with me? Mm -hmm. um, so you're going to go to up in the top right where it says Settings. And then when you're in General, I hit Collect Email Addresses, so that way you see who's sending you your form. And you don't have to worry about students not putting their name on it. And then you go over to the third one where it says Quizzes. And then you can hit that little toggle, and it's going to make it a quiz. Now, this is a really neat option um, that you can do a locked mode, but it's only on Chromebooks. So our students do use Chromebooks, and you can turn on locked mode if you'd like. And that will keep them from opening up any other websites while they're in your quiz. Um, but again, it only works on the Chromebook. So, um, and then release grade immediately after each submission. So you can go ahead and save that. Mine. Um, I'm not using a Chromebook, so I'm going to turn on the locked mode, but I'm not sure how it's going to show. It may not show us the quiz due to the fact that I'm not using Chromebook, but we'll go ahead and try that. Um, so now right here, it says untitled question. We can create any question. I'm going to go back to general, collect email, and save. Now, for the untitled question, we can do a, any question. I mean, you can do a math question, ELA question. The one that you were saying, what's your favorite color, would be more for if you were doing the form as um, like a questionnaire survey. But we're going to do it. For, we're going to pretend we're doing a quiz. Um, so um, you can put describe the main character. If I could spell describe the main character of the story, and it gives you different. If you click right there, those are all the different types of question, um, question types that you can do: short answer, paragraph. This one, I would not choose, obviously, multiple choice. Um, Checkbox is, is for a different type. Drop down, um, multiple choice grid. You can even do, like, a, you can even upload a picture. So let's just say, like, a math teacher or a science teacher or a social studies teacher. You can put a picture of a map and say, what is it, whatever different type of question you want to do. So it's really neat in that area. Um, so when you hit answer key right here, you can assign your point value right here. So if you're doing a 10 question quiz, you want to do it for 10, 10 points each. You want to do a five question quiz, 20 qu however you want to assign the point value. Um, for this one, if you're doing short answer, I would not type in the answer that you want. Like I would grade that one later. Partner up with somebody. If you guys can take a minute and make like a two question quiz for me. You can make up any question you want. You don't have to get anything crazy. But I want you to use two different question types. If you want to do like a multiple choice or a drop down. OK, so did everybody make a quick quiz? OK, any questions on that, on how to add a question, different question types? We're good with this. It's how to do a locked question, and it can't be in quiz mode. So I'm just going to start fresh. So go to forms. I'm going to hit a blank form. Now I have to have this question and answer right here be a short answer. And now there's three little buttons down here. And you have to hit response validation. If you don't hit that, it's not going to make it locked. 